Ladies and gentlemen, it's top of the hour. And of course, my good name is Sky Kakwe, straight out of Kenya Online Media. Now join me as we look at what went down today and what were the highlights of the day. Now everyone is happy for Njugush Creatives as his circle comes to support him for his new business venture that is the Kabat new minibus that is branded as Super Metro. Nego Diereu! We songa dere bana! Huh? Kwani na kulemea? Deu nego Diereu! Songa! In other news, Rington is still beefing with Guardian Angel as he sends him a stern message about apologizing because he is indeed ready to forgive him. Nataka tu kupas message leo kwa ndugu yangu, Guardian Angel. Nataka kumambia kuomba msama is not a sign of weakness. Kukua mpole siyo weakness. Kunye nye kea siyo weakness. Guardian Angel. Naomba mungu wa kuzungumzie uweze come back into your senses. Mini kwa hapa, namba yangu yiku open, simi yangu yime charge, yikuna moto, nangojea, unyinyeke, seme pole. Kadia ninjo, kuomba msama, unasamewa. Singer Karibi's son Joseph Mwadulo has today been finally laid to rest in Embu. Ever since I heard uh, about the sad news about my baby, ever since I heard about the news, I had so many questions. So many, many, many questions. Kama kawaida, who wouldn't? Um, his life was cut short very fast, but again, listening to the life he lived, Alishi Maisha Mzuri, what you say? He was a go getter, he was sporty, he was funny, he was very good at academics, he was handsome. Hey, what day, Manze Muliteswa? Muliteswa Mkateseka, but God is good. Today, content creator Boina has issued a statement uh, to address the dispute that was viral with one makeup artist known as Vigi. You just don't want to listen. You're selfish and you're so selfish. Now ride along with me as we dig deeper into the stories. And after asking God so many, so many, so many questions, I have come to and I hope this is the right thing to do. I want to honor Joe differently. Uh, we've heard stories about how he alikuwa na try kutoa ma boys kwa drugs, alikuwa na vuta kwa bake, venye alikuwa na try. Yani, can you occupy your space with the right things? That was modulo, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm going to honor Joe by seeking advice from, of course, um, able people, I'd like to open a foundation for Dulo. And uh, I want to title it Dulo Foundation. It's going to be all about youth mental health, youth physical health, youth emotional health, Youth, everything. I want because he was a youth and he did everything right as he could. Last week was indeed a sad week for Mugithi singer Karebi and the entire Mugithi family as Karebi lost his son Joseph Madulo in an accident. Now, following an accident that happened at the Kakamega Kisumu Highway that involved an easy coach bus that was ferrying Chavakali Boys High School students from their school to Nairobi. Now, it is said that the school had not uh, organized earlier transport for the students, and on that D day, all bus were booked, leading them to actually uh, book a vehicle that is a bus that was traveling at night for the students, something that they did not consult the parents. Wakangalia wakaona all the buses were fully booked by other schools prior. So, hainge kue tikitu wange make a decision na seme, okay, sawa, tunde ni kesho because there were no buses. Aka muwa sasa wa travel usiku. Na nikitu ambacho wakijawa ifanyika 
kwa any midterm any closing day haijaifanyika usiku so wazazi wengine walikuwa sawa wazazi wengine hawakuwa sawa so i was worried why hawako natupatia option ya mimi mwenye staki ni nini nyingine naweza fanya now according to Kare B, she was really displeased and angry at the school management that decided to put their students in a night bus without consulting the parents and to know whether there was an option B. Now left uh, with no option, parents were able to go to the bus terminus in the morning to receive their children as Kare B went there waited and waited as she witnessed other parents, other mothers receiving their kids only for her not to receive hers. 5 5 a.m. kuna watu walikuwa nasema oh basi imefika my student my son is here oh so nikaanza kusema hope 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 6 a.m. 6:45 basi bado zimeingia wazazi bado wanapokea watoto wao pale easy coach na nikajiuliza eh kwani wangu afiki now the news about the Chav, uh, Chavaka, uh, about the bus that was ferrying chavakali students hit the media waves that morning as she was wondering where could her son be and that is when she realized that her son was actually involved in the accident and died something that the school management had not communicated to her now it was unfortunate enough to know that Joseph Modulo was a victim of that uh, said accident and uh, Karibi took friends and fans and uh, supporters to the ven uh, that is the area where the bus was involved in an accident to actually do a candle lighting and a vigil for Joseph Modulo now today joseph madulo has been uh, finally laid to rest after a lot of meetings and very good funeral arrangements and this has happened in embu that has left family in uh, really heartbroken and kare b is yet to uh, to even speak more about the funeral because it's such a sad uh, experience to actually bury a 17 year old According to Karibi, Joseph Mwadulo was actually an epitome of joy for her and she is rather heartbroken that he had to go this way at a young age. Takali kwa najifanya kifuwa mbele sijui nini. He's still my baby. Ever since I heard about the news, I had so many questions. So many, many, many questions. Kama kawaida, who wouldn't? Um, his life was cut short very fast. But again, listening to the life he lived, Alishi Maisha Mzuri, what I'd say, he was a go-getter, he was sporty, he was funny, he was very good at academics, he was handsome. Hey, what day, manze, muliteswa. Muliteswa mkateseka, but God is good. We are sending our condolences to the family of Kari B and all the supporters of, uh, of the Mugizi family. Also, uh, as Kenya Online Media, may Joseph Madulu's uh, soul rest in peace. In other news... The news about Jugush Creative acquiring a mini bus that is branded as Super Metro has hit the airwaves by storm and fans are intrigued about the little wins or rather the big wins that Jugush is actually doing. Now friends and family have come in large numbers to support him as we saw his circle that includes his wife Waka Vinye and also Abel Mutua better known as Mkurugenzi and his wife Judy Nyawira and also field director and Butita. Now this uh, this circle came to actually support Jugush as they gushed over the new Super Metro bus saying that indeed his uh, their friend has made it. Yani he has really made it and they were really proud as they entered the bus only to admire their photos all over the bus. Now according to Jugush, uh, this uh, Super Metro bus will be taking the route of Nairobi Kitengela and fans cannot wait to actually uh, have a taste of this minibus uh, as Kitengela people are really intrigued saying that they cannot wait to actually find this bus waiting for them in uh, the Kitengela stage or the Nairobi stage. Now the bus is branded known as Tugi or Kabat. Now being asked 
uh, the reason as to why he named the bus cupboard he mentioned an episode where abel mutua was making fun of his uh, previous car and he used to call it cupboard because it was uh, you know open and all that because abel mutua actu actually upgraded to a better car which is a discovery and uh, he decided that acquiring the minibus he was going to call it the exact same name that abel mutua and the other friends used to make fun of and now the minibus is branded Tugi or if you like a Kabat. And guys, um, there was an episode whereby Abel Mutua realized that his photos were not in the bus. Whereas uh, of everyone in the circle, that is Eddie Butita's photos, Phil's photos, uh, Judy Nyawira's photos, Celestine's photos were all over the bus except his. And he was actually thinking that he was going to get the bigger share of photos all over the bus. But Jugush's uh, decision not to put... Um, Abel Mutua's photos is something that Abel did not really like it. However, uh, humorous and comical, Jugush was able to explain that Abel Mutua did not participate in contributing or rather supporting into the purchase of uh, the mini bus known as Cabot. Now, these uh, friends always joke a lot and it's uh, nearly next to impossible to actually know when they are being serious about situations. Now, friends, family, netizens have come in large numbers on social media to congratulate Jugush and his wife Celestine for this huge win because uh, fans really cannot wait uh, to actually enter this uh, mini bus. <laughs> Ah, <laughs>
na pia yeye unaanza kosa guys wacha niwaambie mimi mi, tayari kuna business fanya ni busy ya matatu wacha niwaambie mimi matatu siwezi Ma, hii hii ni kutupa doi hii msiwai danganywa hakuna biza hapa hapana ah, mazee bro mbona umenifanya hivyo lakini mazee si mazee ongea na mimi vizuri naweza toa ya mtu mmoja in other news Today, content creator Boina has issued a statement uh, to address the dispute that was viral with one makeup artist known as Viggy. Now, Viggy went uh, took to social media just the other day to say that Boina did not, uh, you know, fulfill the end of a bargain after they agreed to work together on a project whereby this makeup artist was to do uh, makeup on Boina that w- would be used to advertise her makeup studio. Now, according to Viggy, uh, Boina bailed out the last minute after so much work done on her after she had invested her time the whole day to work on Boina and to take the pictures and even edit them with her claiming that she had to cancel other clients just to work with Boina. Now, later on, Viggy says that uh, Boina was displeased with uh, a post that she shared on her Instagram story, something that has been unknown to her, whereby she makes uh, memes that are uh, client-related just to promote her business in her page. And Boina was uh, dissatisfied with uh, with such a post, uh, leading to Viggy to actually delete it. And later, uh, Boina had to withdraw, saying that uh, it tarnishes a brand and that she does not want to associate herself with that, saying that the uh, pictures that were taken should not be posted. Now, Vicky violated that and went ahead to tell Boina that uh, no, uh, no amount of money could uh, actually compensate for the day's work because she had put in the work. She had did, uh, done the makeup, uh, taken the photos and even got uh, gone ahead to edit them uh, and told Boina that she was going to post one way or the other. Now, Boina was dissatisfied with Vicky's uh, uh, attempts uh, to actually post uh, to a point that she also went to the comment section to tell uh, Vicky that she had told her specifically not to post uh, them. Now later, after going viral, it being posted a jambi fever as, uh, you know, something that tarnishes her brand, Boina decided to issue an official statement today that says that uh, the, the agreement was actually oral and that she has learned a lesson that next time she is uh, going to make sure that when she involves herself with the client that uh, there will be a written a statement or a written agreement. Now taking to uh, social media, this is the statement of, uh, Boina wrote and I read. I would like to address the recent accusations by Vigi Mbuthi. As a brand, I am very keen on the message products, brands, and businesses that I would want myself and my brand to be associated with. I had an oral agreement with the makeup artist to promote her studio and work. As per our agreement, I was to approve the videos and photos that were to be posted and when they were to be released. Unfortunately, she posted my images and videos without prior approval on a date on which we did not agree. Further, the message advanced in the video and images did not sit well with me. I opted to terminate the agreement and pay her dues and damages, which was stated, uh, which she stated was 3,500. However, I paid her 4,000 Kenya shillings. Sadly, the makeup artist decided to share sections of an audio conversation that favored her narrative. The lesson has been uh, learned. Written agreements are very important. Moving forward, having written agreements is key to avoiding any miscommunications and misunderstandings. Well, in an attempt to reach makeup artist Vigi, uh, director Trevor today reached out to her so that she can uh, give the side of her story and uh, as to what actually happened. But uh, in an attempt to actually reach the makeup artist, uh, she declined saying that uh, it is an unfortunate time because uh, she does not feel like opening up at this time. And this is what she wrote. Hi, Trevor. I'd like to, but unfortunately not at this time. Thank you for choosing, uh, for considering me. So now uh, we are waiting to see if we the makeup artist is this going to actually come forward to speak uh, about what really happened and if uh, Boina's statement is actually true. In other news, Kadia Ninja, Kuomba Msama, Unasamewa. The beef between controversial gospel artist Rington Apoko and Guardian Angel still goes on as Rington took to social media to send Guardian Angel yet another stern message.
Now, following an interview with Nyaga Eve, uh, Rinton was able to be asked as to why he is actually beefing with a guardian angel. And he went ahead to state that a uh, guardian angel actually did him wrong and he is really uh, not happy with it and that he expects guardian angel to actually come and apologize. When asked to go into details as to why or what guardian angel did, uh, Rinton was able to blatantly say that he should, uh, Nyaga Eve should actually direct that question to guardian angel because he knows what he did and that leaves us at a position whereby we do not know what exactly a uh, guardian angel did to rington to make him so mad to a point of going to social media to actually threaten him because rington uh, recorded a video saying that wherever he is going to find guardian angel he is going to give him a really good beating yani guardian uh, yani guardian uh, nime, nime invest sana time yangu na resources zangu ku support you guardian sasa amenikosea amenikosea na inauma lakini unajua utuambi amekukosea vipi is it that hakukuja ku support time yenyewe unajua ulisema marafiki zako hawakukamkushow up time yenyewe you're going through something so amekukosea kivipi uh, si hiyo hii amenikosea na naumwa nalia kwa ndani kwa sababu unajua wale watu unawapenda wakikukosea una, unasikia vibaya mimi nampenda Guardian, nampenda sana ndugu yangu, napenda sauti yake, napenda creativity yake. Yaani ameniumiza. Yaani una mtu ambaye unampenda akikuumiza, ameniumiza. Nalia na ndani. Yaani so nampa nafasi eh aweze ku, kujirudia aombe msamaha. Ye yeah, anajua amekukosea kivipi kwa sababu hata sio tuambi. Anajua. Endo muulize. Anajua vile amenikosea. Ilo swali ni lake venye umekuja kwangu hivi mtafute ndio muulize umekosea chama na namna gani anajua na kama kweli ameokoka aja backslide kama kweli bado kiburi haijampanda atakwambia vile amenikosea na ataomba msamaha nataka tu guardian watu wamekujua kama kijana mzuri omba msamaha kukumba msamaha imanishi wewe ni mnyonge ama uko chini tokea tu mbaya chama ni msamaha mimi ni mtu wa upole mimi ni mimi ni mtoto yani mtoto mpole mtoto wa Yesu nitamsamea tu now however rumors also circulated after guardian angel took to social media to say that seven heavens music channel that is account has been hacked and that he is not uh, happy with it because they had just uh, purchased a microphone that was going to help in you know the content creation and posting uh, posting a lot on the channel gospel one um uh, so like i said yesterday um uh, every setback is a setup for a comeback so um our youtube channel was hacked uh seven heaven youtube channel was hacked and someone uh sent me a text in the evening and told me uh i have been paid to hack you so i'm gonna hack so ali chomokana youtube channel here seven heaven just when we were waiting to receive the microphone so the mic is here but uh the channel to post the content is gone so we've decided to start up a new channel for seven heaven just want to ask you to subscribe to our, our new channel so seven heaven music is the new channel i'm going to share the link to the youtube channel the new youtube channel kindly subscribe to our new seven heaven youtube channel bado bado tutapiga tu edo kutoweka chini ni ngumu jamaa yani you will die trying to put us down so uh we we still gonna you know go on we still gonna uh, conquer now see season is even avid music goes for one only for it to actually be uh, you know hacked and uh, many of fans and netizens took to social media to speculate that uh, maybe rington has a hand in the hacking of seven heavens uh, that is accounts and uh, rington in an in, uh, in the interview said that he has no idea about the hacking and that he is not able to do something like that because uh, he describes it as uh, you know not a good thing to do any mambo ya kikora or something 
something ya kijambazi and he is not capable of doing such a, a criminal act and he went ahead to say that whoever is responsible for hacking guardian angels accounts should actually return them because it's not a good thing and he cleared himself of the rumors saying that uh, he is not responsible for that however he came to social media yet again today to tell guardian angel that apologizing is not a sign of weakness and that he should be able to pick up his phone and call ringtone and apologize because ringtone is really ready to forgive a guardian angel well that's all for today's highlights of course join me tomorrow same time same place for more highlights also don't forget to visit our website at www.kom.co.ke even for more entertainment news ladies and gentlemen my good name is sky kakwe and this is kenya online media hey yombachi let's go